Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the game Overkill Walking Dead. So first of all, let's start with the basic. Um, you should play this game in full screen. I did a couple of tests with Borderless and Window Mode. And I was losing like 2 or 3 FPS for each mode. So please use full screen. After that resolution, I'm using 1080p. But for sure, after all the changes that I will show you, if you're still struggling to get your 60, you should definitely play at um, 720p. Uh, frame limit, you want to uncap it because you want to know if you're, uh, what you're doing is working. Fill of view, I'm playing at 90. You have to remember, if you put more fill of view, you will render more in front of you. So you will lose a bit of FPS, but it's not that bad. It's like maybe if you go max, you will lose 2 or 3 FPS maximum. Vertical sync, I'm putting it at off. I don't want to sync my screen. After that, air. A lot of people are telling me... Whoa. Just a sec, uh, frame limit, uncap, sorry. A lot of people are telling me, I don't know how to change my graphic. I don't see the graphic uh, under the advanced uh, panel. It's a bit weird, weird the, e the UI in this game because you see right now I'm changing it, but I don't see any graphic settings here. So you have to choose the last one, custom, and now you can change uh, the different uh, parameter. So first of all, Texture quality, if you have 3 gig of VRAM and more, honestly, you should be fine with high or even ultra. If you have 3 gig and less, uh, you should go with medium. And for sure, if you have something 2 gig and less, play at low. Effect, I'm playing at medium. A lot of fighting in this game. And you will see that uh, you will get more stable FPS when you're playing at effect at medium. I'm getting like 1 to 2% for each bracket. So it's not that great, but still, it will help for the stability of your FPS. Post process quality. I'm putting this one also at uh, at medium, um, two to three percent for each bracket. Um, so not a big uh, chunk, but if you have an integrated video card or laptop stuff like that, put this at, at medium and you should be fine. Shadow quality. This one is the biggest one. Honestly, it's like three to four percent for each bracket. Put this one at low. High to low, I, I was getting like 14 FPS. So that's a pretty huge boost. So really important here, shadow quality at low. Anti-aliasing quality, I'm playing at medium and sometimes even at high. The game is a bit weird, I feel the game is a bit blurry. And uh, I really don't like the game at low, anti-aliasing. But for sure, again, if you have to use it at low because you're not getting your 60, put it at low. But you should definitely start with medium. View distance, this one really important. Uh, play at medium and again, if you have like a low-end computer, laptop and stuff like that, put this one at low. Uh, it's taking a lot of resources on your computer. And the last one, foliage. Foliage quality has this, uh, uh, almost the same impact that Shadow, uh, but it depends on um, like, um, where you are in the map. But still, you can gain a lot of FPS when you have a lot of foliage in the map. So, uh, like uh, trees and the grass and stuff like that. So, put this at low. Press apply. After that, we will go in the config file. The config file is in the C drive, user, the name of your computer, app data, local, OTWD, saved, config, Windows, no editor. After that, you need to find the file, uh, game user setting. I will just remove my read only here. So you have all your parameter here. The only difference that you don't have in the game is the resolution quality here. For me, by default, it was 83 and that was the problem um, why my game was a lot like blurry and a bit with like pixel and stuff like that so just put this at 100 it would match your resolution you can use the downscale if you like like last resort because you're not getting your um, your 60 fps but honestly don't go under 90 because after that you will see that the game looks like shit uh the other thing that you really need to look at is the um, hdr here use hdr display output make sure that this is at false uh, sometimes by default is that true even if your screen is not uh, HDR and for example in No Man's Sky it was like that for me and I was losing like 15 FPS with this so really important make sure that uh, this parameter is at, is at false make sure that you save your thing click X right click on here and put the read only the read only will lock your file so if the game I don't know uh, as a new patch and as an update or you're changing something in the game like your sound quality you don't want the game overriding your game user settings so 
that this is the way to do it so if you have any question guys just come in the youtube section post me your rig cpu ram gpu and i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe peace